Live from the Guadalajara capital, this is the GBN Television News. GBN, covering you from the Grenadine Island chain to Brooklyn, New York, via the World Wide Web on www.gbn.gd. The news headlines is brought to you compliments. GUT Credit Union. As we prepare and remain vigilant amid the coronavirus pandemic, the GUT Credit Union remains committed to serving you and your family in the safest way possible. We have increased the frequency of cleaning and sanitizing all branches and ATMs throughout the day. In an effort to maintain the protocols of social distancing, we encourage you to use the ATMs to conduct simple transactions. For your protection and convenience, our officers are available to conduct business via telephone if needed. As a member, if you are facing financial challenges as a result of the pandemic, please contact us to discuss the range of flexible options available to you. More information can be obtained by calling 440-1354, emailing gutcu at spysile.com or visiting www.gutcu.com. Together, we can successfully navigate through this time. GUT Credit Union, it's where you belong. This is the GBN Television News for Tuesday, the 21st of April, 2020. In the headlines, no word yet on possible new case of coronavirus. Kimron Abram appears in court on charge of non-capital murder in the death of St. Andrew's farmer. Government to work on logistics to bring home cruise ship workers stranded in Florida. In the sports news, CONCACAF Nations League being praised by head of Grenada's senior men's football team. Do stay with us. We'll be back with the details. Evening from the Grenada Broadcasting Network, I'm Ken Roy Batiste. Grenadians are awaiting word on whether the country has a new case of the coronavirus. The Ministry of Health on Monday promised to provide information and clarity on the country's latest possible case. Officials have advised that they will first conduct two consecutive PCR tests before revealing the results of the 45-year-old male. The Ministry of Health says it wishes to err on the side of caution before any further pronouncements are made. Well, government says it is working on plans to bring home Grenadians stranded on board various cruise ships. Cherry and Blackman Stephen spoke with Minister for Tourism, Dr. Clarice Modest Cohen, about the situation. Minister for Tourism Clarice Modest Cowen says they are in discussion with cruise ships about logistics to bring Grenadian workers back. In an exclusive interview with GBN on Tuesday, Minister Modest Cowen was questioned about 52 Grenadians stranded on board two cruise ships in Florida, pleading to come home, as well as many other cruise ship workers in the same position. It's quite a number at this time, and um, the logistics are proven to be a challenge, but we are, we are sorting it out. We are sorting it out with, you know, energetically, let me put it that way. Um, we, we've made a, um, a concerted effort to do that, and we're moving in that direction. The tourism minister said they are uncomfortable with the idea of self-quarantine at home, and as such, quarantine centers must be located to house all returnees, which to date, she said, has been a challenge for them. She said workers will be quarantined for at least 14 days on arrival. In addition, she told GBN that the cruise ship workers will not be brought back all at once because of the large numbers. So we're going to start the process very soon. Um, I, I hope that by Friday, God's willing, today is Tuesday, I will be able to give you dates and times because certain logistics have to be worked out as well. But... Um, we are, we are working through it, and we are making every effort to bring our Grenadian nationals who are on the cruise ships 
home as soon as possible. A final number on Grenadians working on cruise ships and begging to come home remains unknown. GBN was contacted by two workers who expressed frustration and concerns ranging from missing their families, fear of remaining on board, and a depletion in the quality of foods they are fed. One male, identified only as Patrick, said they are now only fed rice and gravy. According to a recent report, Carnival Cruise Lines plans to use more cruise ships to bring back as many as possible crew members back home. The cruise blog, I Like Cruise Ships, reports that Carnival is in the process of grouping crew members by regions and transferring them from one ship to another to take home as many people as possible in each country. The report further states that Carnival Glory will set sail to Latin America with stops in the Caribbean. A date for this departure or arrival in the various destinations was not given in that report. To date, the state of Grenada remains under a limited state of emergency and all ports of entry remain closed, with an exception for commercial shipments and import of medical supplies and medical personnel travel. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News. Now, over 50 Grenadians in the diaspora are among the thousands who have died from COVID-19 in the United States. The United Kingdom also has records. During the sitting of the House of Representatives last Friday, Minister for Foreign Affairs Peter David calls for those in the diaspora and their families to be remembered in our prayers. Minister David says, in spite of the challenges out there, some are still offering to assist. Communities of Britain and the United States, we must really keep them in our prayers. Over 40 Grenadians, Mr. Speaker, died in New York alone. And in the United Kingdom, in the United Kingdom, many more are dying. We must pay tribute to them. And you know what is fascinating to me? While they are undergoing that, I have received messages from diaspora communities asking what they can do for us in Grenada. That is amazing. The sad reality is that some families cannot perform the final rites for their loved ones. With hundreds dying daily from the coronavirus, most are taken away in large containers, only to be buried in mass graves. To one undertaker in New York who uh, is a Grenadian asking him to, and this is one of the tragedies, that one family, Mr. Speaker, not only did the gentleman die, but his family was not able to recover his body because there were no spaces in the funeral homes. So we had to be asking around New York to try to get space in a funeral home. One funeral home said to me, listen, I'll try to, I'm trying to get a, 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 what you call these, these, these containers now to take more bodies. He alone had 15 Grenadians in his funeral home. So I really want us to keep them in their prayers and to, to, to ensure that we can do whatever we can to give them the support because the Grenadian community in the diaspora in New York, in London, in Canada, they have been very, very supportive of us in Grenada. Here at home, only 10 people are allowed to attend a loved one funeral and 30 minutes allowed for the church service. Funeral homes were given two days in the past week and another two days this week to ease the buildup of corps. Christina John, GBN News. Drinking alcohol does not protect people from getting the coronavirus. Instead, experts at the Pan American Health Organization warn it may have negative effects that may worsen health conditions that can lead to death. Drug Avoidance Officer Dave Alexander, who of course has been meeting with officials of PAHO on the issue, says consumption of alcohol during the COVID-19 lockdown can also lead to risky behavior, violence and mental issues. The World Health Organization is saying drinking alcohol can increase the risk of someone catching COVID-19 and can make conditions worse if an individual already has the virus. The organization is dismissing the myth that consuming alcohol can actually kill the coronavirus. So too is the drug control officer in the Ministry of Education, Dave Alexander. So therefore, is encouraging governments of the region to limit the intake of alcohol during the pandemic. 
In an exclusive interview with GBN, Alexander brought clarity on the myth, stating that alcohol does more harm than good to the human body. So that uh, alcohol, that is alcohol which has a certain percent volume, at least 60 percent and over, can be used as part of uh, the process of sanitizing. Okay, so um, once it's properly used, it, it, um, it can be done to sanitize, let's say, countertops or your door knobs or other surfaces that, as such. Okay, of course, um, you know, you, you cannot just take it and, and ingest it because that would not do any, uh, solve any problems if you would have contracted the virus or prevent it. So consuming alcohol does not solve the problem of uh, the coronavirus or COVID-19. Alcohol does not prevent uh, or get rid of the coronavirus, uh, that is, if you ingest it. With the onset of the global pandemic COVID-19, the use of alcohol-based sanitizers has been recommended as one of the measures of avoiding the spread of the virus. Alexander recommends that people refrain as much as possible from consuming alcohol, since a person may not know if he or she is infected with the virus. Uh, we also know that the, the uh, alcohol use and, of course, the coronavirus or COVID-19 is a very deadly combination, a very dangerous combination, uh, because we know that um, alcohol-related problems can also uh, result in the development of respiratory um, issues and, of course, later on pneumonia. And so uh, if, if one uh, develops uh, COVID-19 or contracts a virus and, of course, consumes alcohol, well, then we know we are in for a very, very difficult um, health-related issue. The problem is that um, some of us or some persons may have the virus that we don't know unless we are, we are tested. Okay, and um, it, it, it shows a positive test. Um, so in the meanwhile, um, of course, what we want to tell people is that as much as possible to be free from alcohol. That Alexander was part of the discussions earlier this week with the Pan American Health Organization on alcohol consumption. Chrislina John, GBN News. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell is once more lending his support to Cuba and Venezuela against sanctions imposed by the United States of America. Chair Ian Blackman Stephen has this report. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell is standing with regional leaders of Venezuela and Cuba against what he sees as morally wrong decisions against both countries. COVID-19 has affected all of us, all the entire world. Why? one would impose sanctions against another country at this time when people are dying i think it's unconscionable and i, I believe all nations all persons whatever your political philosophies whatever the issues are this is not a time to allow babies to die women and children to die innocent men to die because of sanctions. Addressing Parliament on Friday, Prime Minister Mitchell encouraged leaders to speak out against these continued measures against both Spanish-speaking countries. And I think we are in this world, we, we must speak out. No matter who is doing it, whether it's our best friend, it has nothing to do with ideology, it has nothing to do with any other issues, economic and otherwise, um, political doctrines. We live in this world, it's one order. It, the, the, the sanction against Venezuela and Cuba is wrong, morally and otherwise. We must speak out about it. Foreign Affairs Minister Peter David also lent his voice in support of Cuba and Venezuela, giving thanks to both countries for always being among the first to provide assistance to the world in times of crisis, despite sanctions imposed on their countries. The Cuban government sent nurses to Grenada and are about to send doctors to this country. In the face of their own crisis, the government of Cuba is sending assistance not only to us. You look on the television, you realize it's sending assistance to all countries all over the world. 
second leader government of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. We got over 3,000 Tesla this week, some of which we are currently using from Venezuela at a time when they are suffering and they are facing sanctions. Heads of government last week called for the lifting of sanctions on Cuba and Venezuela on humanitarian grounds, saying all countries must be part of the global effort to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News. All right, during Monday's RGPF press brief, it was announced that Grenada recorded its eighth murder for the year, with two murders within the same month. The accused of Grenada's latest homicide made his first court appearance at the Grenville Magistrate's Court today. Akisha Felix was there. A St. Andrews farmer who was charged with non-capital murder made his first court appearance on Tuesday, April 21st at the Grenville Magistrates Court. 32-year-old Kimran Abraham of Munich, who had no legal representation today, is scheduled to return to court on May 7th. Abraham is alleged to have caused the death of Wilbert Alexis, another farmer in the said area, on Friday, April 17th at around 8 p.m. An autopsy conducted on Monday concluded that the deceased succumbed to injuries sustained to the body. Police investigations are continuing. Lakeisha Felix for GBN News. Kind and peaceful are some words used to describe Wilbert Alexis, who died violently last week. Lakeisha Felix. On Friday, Grenada recorded its second homicide for the month. Wilbert Alexis, a resident of Munich St. Andrew, died from a chopping incident at around 8 p.m. in the same facility. In speaking to a family member of the deceased, Paula Peters Roberts, she said her brother will be greatly missed, especially in the farming community. He grew um, crops like um, cabbage and dashing and, and plantain. Um, my daughter and I were looking at um, GBN News and she said to me, um, Mommy, um, Mama wants to talk to me, that's my mother. And she said to me, the way Mama voice is sounding, sounding something happened. And when I spoke to my mommy, she told me, um, she, somebody called her and told her that this young man from um, Monica who cut out my brother's neck and his two feet. I was shocked. I couldn't even move. I was trembling and I was bawling. She added that while unconfirmed details surrounding the death of Sai are sketchy, she said her brother was kind and peaceful. The nickname um, Zai, I do not know how he got that name, okay? He was quiet, respectful, loving, and kind. Mm -hmm. And as I said before, he had a nice way of walking. Mm -hmm. Knowing, but he was a friendly guy. Friendly guy, he, 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 he doesn't speak much. He'll just smile. Maybe if he's talking to you, maybe he might say about three or four words. He was a, that quiet person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Friday's murder brought the total number of murders on island to eight, with three being unsolved thus far. Akisha Felix for GBN News. You're watching News at 7. Still to come from us, Minister says no child will be left behind as Trinity term begins online. Stay with us. Republic Bank assures all personal, small business, commercial and corporate banking customers of our continued support during these uncertain times. We have extended a moratorium on all loans, including mortgages and student loans, for up to six months. However, there is an option to opt out of this arrangement only upon request. Late fees on credit cards, loan repayments, and overdrawn accounts are being waived, as well as penalties for early withdrawals of certificate of deposit accounts. These measures will be in place for six months. To opt out of the moratorium, please email us at customercare at republicgrenada.com by April 30th, 2020. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. I'm reaching my dreams with GOT. They're the ones for me. I'm reaching.
crashing my dreams with GUT. They're the ones for me. Since 1983, they've been solving the country and we like all their finance and giving the people what they want, what they need, what they love. Come and join the family that's here for you all the way from birth to graduation your first job to your home and your car through your golden years the GT credit union has been actively supporting nation building through its many sponsorships and the programs including financial literacy quiz pass the torch calypso program junior cooperatives in secondary schools cpea and the time cc grants the credit union has helped many people make their dreams come true let them help you with yours. You don't have to be a teacher to be a member. So what are you waiting for? GUT Credit Union It's where you belong One bad vibe and I'm out this No, you can't stop this We're out to get it with Lucas and Day and night, yeah, we're on this I know you want this. Come on and taste, taste the energy. Day and night, if you're looking to say life, if you're looking to say life, come taste the energy. Good vibes only. Lucas say, taste the energy. Hey, Lynn. Hey, neighbor. Here's the bill I asked you to pay for me. How did you get your electricity bill to be so low? For one, we size our transformers just for what we need. And we unplug transformers, chargers, and other devices when they're not in use. We also replace our light bulbs with LEDs. They burn less energy, right? Much less. I even replaced the seal on my refrigerator door to keep the cold air in. And Greenleck is always advising us not to open the fridge too often. That's right and my family washes and irons in bulk. With fuel prices changing all the time, how do you know if it is working? We pay attention to the usage history table. Over time, our average usage has decreased. So while Grenada can't control fuel prices, I can conserve energy and save money. Grenelec, energizing our Grenada. When I need shelter, warmth, security, I know you'll be there. Something in these moments lets me know you care. Maybe the way you shield me, maybe it's your smiles. And the way you tell me, it's okay to try. Now I'm invincible, I can pack my sack, I can take the long it's okay to look back if I am scared. I know you're there. Ooh. Arise, uh. together there's no limit to what we can do. is a riser. Your financial freedom. Your future. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging. Three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like. 350 local anywhere calls and texts. With the always on prepaid plans all for $25. Keep your number when you switch to Grenada's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. GBN leads, the others follow. This segment is brought to you by Republic Bank. Republic Bank assures all personal, small business, commercial, and corporate banking customers of our continued support during these uncertain times. We have extended a moratorium on all loans, including mortgages and student loans, for up to six months. 
However, there is an option to opt out of this arrangement only upon request. Late fees on credit cards, loan repayments, and overdrawn accounts are being waived, as well as penalties for early withdrawals of certificate of deposit accounts. These measures will be in place for six months. To opt out of the moratorium, please email us at customercare at republicgrenada.com by April 30th, 2020. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. As the Trinity School term transitions to e-learning via the MSTAR learning support platform, which is another facet of government's web portal, the Ministry of Education has also given special consideration to CXE and CPEA students and the transitioning of other students. We get the rest in this report. Based on Grenada's state of readiness, Minister for Education Emeline Pierce says the ministry believes that students and teachers will need to be back in school about six weeks before examinations begin. That is in regard to the proposed changes that CXE intends to make to the current structure of the exams. Minister Pierre, however, notes that they have come to the conclusion that if these exams must be done in June and school remains closed, contingencies must be developed to support students sitting the exams. We have indicated to CXC that our recommendation is for these exams to be deferred to September. However, we do understand that the ultimate decision will be made after final assessment of the regional situation and review of recommendations from all member states. The Education Minister, while appealing to all involved, to prepare just in case the exams begin in June. Other students and teachers, she says, are expected to conduct remedial studies. TAMCC and NULO are also preparing students, and the minister adds that measures are being implemented to cope with the struggles of COVID-19. To that end, when school reopens under normal conditions, we will implement a transition plan designed with the psychosocial needs of everyone in mind. It will include a national assessment to determine the academic support that every child would need, and a national enhancement program will be launched. Minister Pierre impresses that no student must be left behind as a result of the virus. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News. Minister for Education Emmeline Pear says students who have no access to internet and electronic devices will not be left behind as it relates to the new e-learning platform for the Trinity School term. Rena Pear has this report. It's the second day of the Trinity term, however, while some students are able to participate in classes online, others lack devices and internet connection. On GBN's Beyond the Headlines, Minister for Education Emily Pear says her ministry has considered these factors. So it means that if you're in a home where there's no internet connection, so that home doesn't have internet and so you all you may have is your cell phone with probably three dollars data on it that person can now use their phone as a hotspot for as many computers as many laptops if you have one or you have five it doesn't matter and that hotspot will be able to afford you the opportunity to go on the platform and you can be on for the entire day um, additionally, what we are doing, and I announced that yesterday, is that we've moved one step further. We've actually ordered about 15,000 devices, and we intend that as soon as those are on island, we are going to be distributing, particularly with consideration given to the uh, marginalized, the vulnerable persons, and so they are very much at the top of our minds. While government awaits the arrival of the 15,000 devices, other arrangements have been made with a local broadband provider. The minister spoke of what the distribution process of the devices might be like. And so how do you decide who gets the devices? So that would not be an easy decision to make for it, but let me tell you what the plan is currently. 
9,600 devices are targeted at secondary school students because those are coming with e-books. So students and teachers, secondary school level, we have assigned those to, to that group. The rest of the devices, of course, will facilitate um, e-testing, but the majority of them are to go to uh, primary school teachers and primary school students. Uh, we are going to ensure that children who already have a device are not given first priority. And so that data is being collected by teachers at the school level to ensure that those persons who need a device at this time are given first preference. And of course, we would continue to order and to ensure by that time, every child is, is given access to a device. Despite the little challenges, the minister says that feedback from principals and teachers of the various schools is positive thus far. For GBN News, I am Rina Peer reporting. Prime Minister and Member of Parliament for St. George Northwest, Dr. Keith Mitchell, says he empathizes with his residents relative to the troubling effects surrounding the ongoing fire at the Perseverance landfill. Addressed in the sitting of Parliament last Friday, Dr. Mitchell said the situation remains a troubling one. The Perseverance dumpers in with the, with the smoke we don't know what a lot of health problems can emanate. I feel very sorry for the, the people at, um, at Brazan, Bouchejou, uh, Happy Hill and the areas, Mark Morris and Concord, um, Cotomeli area and so on. They, they have to bear this problem and, and with all the attempt by the Ministry of Health and of course the Solid Waste Division to attempt to deal with that problem, but because of the the technical issues involved and the scientific issues of, of where this fire is emanating and what's causing it, the gas and so on, there could be a lot of health issues. I, I'm worried, I'm extremely worried for, for those persons leaving their community. We're going to take a break, but still to come from us, authorities concerned about vulnerable children as lockdown continues. Back in a moment. It's new, innovative and classy, and it cut above the rest. Your one-stop shop for bathtubs, kitchener, customized doors and windows, and even a new paint job. We also sell quartz and solid surface countertops. At Eminent Hardware, we offer best prices, excellent service, efficiency, and reliability. Visit us at Dusty Highway, Grand and St. George, or call telephone number 440-6757. Eminent Hardware, from foundation to roof, let's build together. The Grenada Distillers Limited joins the government and people of Grenada, Caricou, and Pitti Martinique in the fight against COVID-19. Only together we can beat this pandemic. As a corporate citizen, we have temporarily stopped the production of rum, and our focus has been on the production of a sanitizing solution to assist in the fight against this dreadful pandemic. We have commenced free distribution to the senior citizens' homes, children's homes, and other vital organizations around the country, and made this product available to you at supermarkets and pharmacies island-wide. We encourage you to please listen and obey the guidelines issued by our health authority and the Royal Grenada Police Force. Together, and only together, we can beat COVID-19. Shipping is fast and reliable. Always on time, safe and affordable. When it's time here to connect you, tropical worldwide, you must get you. Shop online and you get it on time. Hustle free to meet your deadline. Consolidate any size, any load with tropical shipping. So we ship everything. I can't wait to ship with tropical. I can't wait. Go back in the big clothes. No, I cannot wait to ship with tropical. A local agents, George F. Huggins and Company, Grenada Limited. A telephone number 440-8787 or visit our website at www.tropical.com. 
Email us at grenadasales at tropical.com. Tropical Shipping, committed to island life. How going on, boy? Hey, hey, good old things. Hey, Daisy. Yeah. Boy, line, boy, your house looking a real good day. Boy, it's thanks to the hardworking and professional staff at the Housing Authority of Grenada. They handled me real nice. They did my plan, they did the construction, and I didn't even have to worry about that thing. They were there with me every step of the way, supervising the job, asking me about my concerns, giving me feedback as a house took shape. They were there from start to finish, and even put the keys in the palm of my hand. I give them an A++ for customer service. Oh, it's people from housing bad, boy. Boy, not bad. Excellent. If you're thinking about constructing your home, why not consult the Housing Authority of Grenada? You could visit them right down in the Sandino complex or give them a call 440-1015 or 440-1016. Or check out their website, hag473.com. They go handle you. They go jog your blocks. They go draw your plan. They go talk your materials. <laughs> hey, man, where you going? The Housing Authority of Grenada is your choice for affordable housing and a stress-free construction experience. This is GBN. We've got the means, the power, and the medium. This segment is brought to you by Flow. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 70 channels and 12 in HD. All for $200 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Hello again. As Grenada and the rest of the world deal with the COVID-19 pandemic, one of the measures put in place to contain the spread of the virus is the shelter-in-place advisory, which encourages citizens to adhere to curfews and lockdowns put in place by governments. However, authorities are concerned that lockdowns and shelter-in-place measures come with heightened risk of children witnessing or suffering violence and other forms of abuse. Clinical psychologist in the Ministry of Social Development, Dr. Augustine Pantru, acknowledges that lockdowns tragically present an opportunity for child abusers to harm their victims, leaving them in situations they cannot escape. Children are most vulnerable during this period. We have a lot under just the regular normal uh, situations. We have a lot of sexually uh, motivated crimes against children, a lot of child sexual abuse, a lot of other abuses of children, that our children who are locked up with predators may just be easy targets. So I want parents to be on the lookout. I want neighbors to be on the lookout. I want people on a whole to be on the lookout to protect our children from predatory, sexually predatory behavior. Dr. Panchu says children are rarely in a position to report abuse as they no longer have the same access to authority figures, including teachers, to report incidents at home. Mom may know it's happening, but, but the male or the other significant person is the one providing for us in this troubled time. So now I have to balance the equation and ask myself, talk or accept survival because we need to survive but that's no excuse for for the abuse okay so what can we do listen children if you are listening call if you write a note to someone shout cry ball scream run on the road somebody is going to see you if it is if it is unusual especially in this lockdown time somebody is going to see you but I want parents to be empowered and strong enough to say something if they see something. 
Well, although the port remains open for cargo, access to barrels from this point isn't possible at the moment. However, Compass Shipping, as of Monday, started the distribution of barrels in its possession. More businesses were given clearance to open up their doors for three days this week. This collection will be done in an organized manner, according to Acting Commissioner of Police, Edwin Martin. Compass will contact on a daily basis and on the days of operation, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, specific individuals that should be coming to collect the barrels. If you have not been contacted, do not go to Compass Shipping. Wait until you are called and over a period of time, I'm sure everyone will be engaged. Right, so discussions are being held on how and when barrels from the port can be accessed. So Compass Shipping will start the operations today. Also today on the issues of barrel, we are finalizing discussions and customs will be leading a meeting with the agents responsible for shipping barrels to finalize a process for clearing of barrels at the port. Once this is finalized, members of the public will be informed, and I want to anticipate that that will kick in relatively soon. All right, time for this evening's GBN I saw. Compliments, Clear Vision, Eye Center. A good eye captures all. GBN Eyesaw is brought to you by Clear Vision. You know us, but we knew. You feel at home with every visit. An experienced team offering personalized courtier service and trendy brand name lifestyle products. We're changing the vision care landscape one customer at a time. Clear Vision Eye Center. People and technology coming together to help you see the world with a clearer vision. Tonight's I Saw features pictures of the Golden Falls located in Mount Horn in St. Andrew. The waterfall is considered a recently discovered hidden gem called the Golden Falls because of the orange-colored minerals that fall down the waterfall's rocks. There are some parts where you need the help of a rope to travel up and down a sheer rock face. You can send in your photo and video submissions via our social media platforms. We invite you to stay with us. We'll be back to report the weather, followed by the sports news. We are adapting to meet the changing needs of our shareholders and members. Times are changing, and with the changing times comes a whole new way to do business. Our parents may have done their banking a different way. Communal's state-of-the-art online banking and international debit card allows members to do business with great ease. It's like literally having a branch in your very own hands. Need a loan? Apply online from the comfort of your own home anywhere in the world and your request will be dealt with remotely. Want to transfer between your accounts or another shareholder? No wait time for transactions to update. Voila! Who needs receipts when you can receive them via e-statements on your mobile device and save the environment? Not a communal member? You can join our family today by applying online. At Communa, we see you working hard to ensure that you save, invest, and grow. Communal, join us today. This will be the best financial decision you have ever made. My name is Hollis, Mr. Kilamap, and I endorse this message.
It's Detox Time Again at Nirvana Natural Hall Clinic Detox Center. The festive season is over. So let's start 2020 looking and feeling like a boss with our many body cleansing options. Purchase Detox products as low as $50. Purchase Detox Combo Packs as low as $100. Receive 10% off on all in-house colonic irrigation treatment. Take control of your health now. Don't delay. Call us on 231-6642-418-7115 or 449-7753. We are located in Belmont St. George's, close to the Fall Edge area. These offers are valid from January to March or while stocks last. Nirvana Natural Health Clinic, Detox Center. Detox, your way to health. The Grenada Distillers Limited joins the government and people of Grenada, Caricou, and Pitti Martinique in the fight against COVID-19. Only together we can beat this pandemic. As a corporate citizen, we have temporarily stopped the production of rum, and our focus has been on the production of a sanitizing solution to assist in the fight against this dreadful pandemic. We have commenced free distribution to the senior citizens' homes, children's homes, and other vital organizations around the country, and made this product available to you at supermarkets and pharmacies island-wide. We encourage you to please listen and obey the guidelines issued by our health authority and the Royal Grenada Police Force. Together, and only together, we can beat COVID-19. Keeping an eye on the weather, this is GBN. We've got you covered. Weather for Grenada, Caracou and Petit Martinique valid for tonight and the following three days. Weather tonight generally fair. Seas moderate, waves four to six feet in open water. Tides low at 9.15 p.m. High really fair during the afternoon. On Thursday, the 23rd, partly cloudy to cloudy with some brief showers. Sports News, up next. Hello, sporting fans. Uh, first off, of course, the report. We can tell you that uh, Grenada senior men's uh, football coach and a former national star, Shalri Joseph, has hailed the positive uh, contribution and impact of the recently implemented CONCACAF Nations League. We can tell you that he says the tournament, which began in September 2018, had ins has instilled much needed confidence in the uh, smaller teams and provided a better opportunity for them to qualify for the Confederation's showpiece, the CONCACAF Gold Cup. The Spice Boys coach says Grenada has benefited from the new format which has revolutionized football in the region. The Nations League serves as a qualifier for the Gold Cup which is staged biannually. It is divided into three tiers with League A comprising 12 teams, League B 16 teams and League C another 12 teams. Amidst money worries and their ongoing dispute with FIFA, the Trinidad and Tobago Football Association now has to contend with a demand from former coach Russell Latterpy, who says the TTFA has owed him money for years and he needs to be paid immediately. Latterpy, 51, played 81 matches for Trinidad and Tobago from 1988 to 2009, scoring 29 goals. He eventually went on and coached the national team between 2009 and 2011. 
He served as an assistant coach in 2009 and again in 2017. Speaking with the Nation newspaper in Barbados, where he is now the head coach of that country's national team, Latterby says that the TTFA owes him a tidy sum of about one million US dollars. And Barcelona are to give a sponsor naming rights to the NOU camp for the first time and donate all the revenue to fighting the coronavirus. Barcelona's stadium, which is known as Camp Nou, is uh, Catala in Catalan, has uh, never had another name since opening in 1957. The La Liga champions have given the title rights to the Barcelona Foundation, which will find a sponsor for 2020 to 2021. Spain is one of only four countries in the world to have more than, although charity UNICEF had appeared on their shirts from 2006. That is the sports news for now. Stay with us. Around the globe, first off, the Guyana Elections Commission, GCOM, says it will announce for the national recount of all votes. The Elections Commission remains resolute at ensuring the recount exercise commences within the shortest possible time. And by Prime Minister Moses Naga. After being stranded in Barbados for close to four weeks, Ally return to the country, we can tell you. At, uh, let's, uh, of course, have the story there. After being stranded in the country for uh, two weeks, uh, we can tell you that 16 of the three 33 Trin Trinidadians, uh, Trinidad and Tobago nationals, finally return to the country at uh, 2.05 p.m. on Tuesday. The first group arrived on a one Caribbean flight, chartered flight, of course. The second group is expected to arrive later with the remaining 17 nationals. With the first flight initially scheduled to leave the Grantley Adams International Airport at 10.30 a.m., the group was told it had to be tested for COVID-19 before leaving. Members are expected to be quarantined for a minimum of weeks. And President Trump, his administration, on Tuesday morning scrambled to finalize. President Trump tweeted, quote, in light of the amid the coronavirus pandemic. On capital murder in the death of St. Andrew's Farm. If you missed any part of this newscast, a repeat of it will be broadcast at 10 o'clock tonight. Continue to follow us online, gbn.gd, or on GBN Television Facebook page and YouTube channel for these and other stories. I'm Ken Roy Batiste. That completes the news.